Welcome to this video where I'll show you how to set up a pair of the recently released GLV series safety light curtains from Keyence. This video walks through all of the basics you'll encounter as you install and set up a pair of light curtains, namely the brackets, the cables, and then the install process itself. Let's start with the brackets. In this video, you can see I'm using the new no dead zone mounting brackets Keyence released with the GLV series. They can be installed to the frame from the side or from the back, depending on what direction the curtains need to face relative to the frame. Next, we'll turn our attention to the light curtains. Before we put it on the brackets, we want to install any cables or external lamps that we plan on using. On the bottom of the curtains, you'll find the M12 connector for the power cable already attached. On the opposite side, you can find the end cover that you would remove to adjust the setting switches connect additional sets of light curtains in series, or install the external lamp. Next, let's put the curtains on the bracket. With our no dead zone mounting brackets, you can simply push the curtains into the clamp, and then the curtain should stay in place while still being able to be moved up or down, or rotated left or right, so that you can easily adjust the alignment. Next, supply power via the M12 five pin connectors according to the pinout that is on the screen now. Once the curtains are powered on, it's time to move on to aligning the transmitter to the receiver. It's recommended to start by making sure the top of each curtain is at the same height. Next, do your best to point the receiver at the transmitter and then tighten it into place. Then focus your attention on the transmitter curtain and adjust the angle left and right until you see the full length indicator turn green. Now, understanding what this indicator is telling you is really the key to setting up the curtains efficiently. When the curtain is aligned and there's no beams being blocked, you'll see the full length indicator turn green. If you place an object into the curtain, you'll see that the full length indicator turns red, letting you know that the safety output is off. Additionally, the part of the curtain which is blocked by the object will be blank, which we call the shadow function. This is super useful during setup since you can see exactly which parts of the curtains are being blocked. Whenever you get the curtains aligned, it will start to display a green color, which means that nothing is blocking the curtain and it's receiving light on all of its beams. However, there are three different stages of green lights. If your curtain shows short intervals of green, the light intensity is highly reduced. If you see that the intervals of green are slightly longer, then you've increased the intensity, but it's still mildly reduced. And once your curtains are operating at full intensity, you'll see the full length of the indicator turn a solid green, which means that you are aligned properly. Please note that as long as there is any green on the indicator of the curtain, the safety output is going to be on. The different levels or the different amounts of green just indicate how well aligned the curtain is. To conclude the installation, fine tune the alignment on the transmitter so that the full length indicator shows a solid green and then fully tighten the setting screw on the front of the bracket. Now that you're done installing and aligning the curtains, you just need to use the OSSD safety outputs, which are found on pins two and four of the receiver's M12 five pin connector. These will be your main safety output wires that will connect into your safety circuit on the machine.